Okay, this is my very, very small, semi-functioning um, ink making machine, ink maker, kind of like a nod to 3D printing. Um, we have this little thing that we can turn from bone, you can see it, to the radio. If I didn't hot glue everything together too wrong, oh, into the gear. So there you go. Um, we need to make a gear to be able to get across in chapter four and the inky abyss. So here we have this little hot glued all together because I had a lot of trouble trying to glue everything together, but, and the handle is horrible. So I'll let you guys have the paper craft. I made it a little bigger than this, so it would be easier for everybody to do. But there you have it, the ink maker um, suggested by a couple people and I sh should have done it right after chapter four. I had meant to do it, but with my shaky hands, I struggled to make things and I'm never gonna make anything this small again. I promise. Angels above in the old hand. He was so close to perfection. He known the great reason. He will never be without a doubt. Ah, 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 ah. Angels going crazy, 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 crazy. He will never lazy, lazy. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, nazy, 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 crazy. So now we glue, and I got a little aggressive and didn't have the flaps as long as I needed, so I had to add some extra flaps to get it all to work. I'll try to avoid that. Okay, since I'm not going to be able to do this of a small one, let me just show you how some of these pieces are supposed to go together, and maybe I'll redo it as a bigger one. So this, you bend the inside piece under, and then over there. <clears throat> Same thing on the other side. So that one goes, oops, that one goes up and this one goes down and then around and then this is going to come up around and then it should all get glued together as a little cuppy thing there. That was my goal with that. I don't know if I succeeded. Well, I can't do it with my fingers. I just cannot do this small stuff. So I'm going to have to make this thing just much bigger. As much as people are going to complain about the scale of everything and I just can't, I cannot make it this small. My fingers have never had good fine motor skills. I'm going to keep trying um, with this one and then I'll redesign some of it so maybe it'll make it easier and when I make it bigger I'll know what things to do to make the flaps a little bit easier. Now this here, I'm just going to glue these on. Cheat and glue it. I'm just going to cut the, all the flaps off because I can't deal with little flaps. And I'm going to just glue it onto cardboard. And so long as it's about this thick, which is not quite an eighth of an inch thick. So if I can find some cardboard roughly that thick, I will glue it on and make two wheels. And stick a toothpick through the whole thing so that they can spin. And that's what we'll do. Or at least what we're going to try to do. And then this ought to be interesting. 
the uh, you can actually choose I might put it on the paper craft the three different ones one with the plunger and one with the um, pipe gent wrench as everybody wants to call it a gent wrench and um, then you could choose whichever one of those you want to put inside the dial and uh, I really would like to put it like a little uh, but it's so small I'm just gonna put a little toothpick through there and glue it on instead of trying to do this little knob so that you can turn it inside of there okay let me see if I can just finish this up and show it as a done thing and it'll be used as a prop because it's the right size for my other models um, but I really need to make it much bigger like I did El Radio back there because that was not nearly as hard for my fingers to deal with even though the knobs were hard everything else was pretty okay um, work smarter not harder so I messed that up if you're gonna back up cardboard kind of just get kind of a rounded edge already and put it on just the one here and when I redesign this I'm gonna put these on the ends of the long pieces so you don't have to cut around those so just glue that give it a little time and then cut around that one and then you can flip them over and glue them together this wasn't smart here because then I had to not glue those and now I'm gonna have to cut which is gonna be tricky but this will be easy to cut that so smarter not harder and I'm gonna do the same thing with this one here this one's gonna be a little trickier unless I maybe redesign it so that that just goes along one whole side and then you could just do that that's probably what I'll do because it'll make that easier it's all about making it easier right yeah the video I imagined this would be is not happening um, but so I'm working on trying to get this in here this itty bitty thing that you'd be able to turn it with this itty bitty knob but that's gonna be tricky I'm just gonna hot glue the outside piece on and then I have my wheels that I am going to stick a toothpick through and put on here and I've been ah the computer fell asleep trying to redesign it in Pepakura to get rid of some unneeded stuff so I just want to get this done because it did not turn out nice and it's gonna to have to be made big enough so my little fumbly fingers could get around all this stuff. You'll notice 682 SEP back there. Um, again, I can't paint worth anything with my shaky hands, so I have avoided doing that and finishing that project. Um, I just did get this into here so I can turn it. So we got a bone and we can turn it to the radio, which there you go. I'd have to make this even a lot bigger if I wanted to get a radio out of it like that. Well, <clears throat> now if I can get this piece in here properly so that it turns, but that's going to be a challenge as with everything. So I've got a hole in the side here and I'm going to try to slide that in without breaking it any more than I already have. And it is getting crooked there. This part here needs to really be made. Ah, my fingers in the way. Part needs to be really made stiffer to do this um, because it is bending on me to get the tray in there. And I've almost got it. Yeah, it's sticking on something. There we go. So now if it would just kind of work a little better than this. Um, I'm going to have to put the toothpick all the way through, I think, in order to make that work nicer. Maybe if I just put this in there a little better. And then this is got to be made much stiffer here because this is way weak for the little handle here. But um, if I could get that in there, stiffen up everything and make it bigger, this handle needs to be done better. But the wheels do turn on their toothpicks. Um, that was kind of tricky to get in there. And there you have it. The ink maker from Introduced in Bidding the Ink Machine, Chapter 4. And 
that was when I should have made it way back then, but never got around to it. And now I'm struggling to do anything. <laughs> but definitely make it bigger. I'll leave a link to the papercraft template. And I made it a little bigger than this in the template. It still fits on one page. You could uh, blow it up to fit on two pages and just piece it together a little bit if you have to do that. But there you guys go. That's all I can do today.